Hey, Nihon, Chef Tom, making Vietnamese famous baguette sandwich by me. Here, I got four beautiful pork tenderloin. I marinated this morning. Uh, ginger, garlic, hot chili, wine, soy sauce, oyster sauce, hoisin sauce, and brown sugar, white pepper. Two here, uh, half inch thick cut of bacon. Just give them a nice portion of fat and the meat. We're gonna make our own ham. And I uh, season with some salt, pepper, five spice powder. And what I do is I roll this bacon up like this. There's a strip, you roll it up, make it into a roll, and just get a heavy duty foil and just tie it like this, okay? Pickle, vegetable, carrot, turnip, sweet onion, thinly sliced, um, I uh, cure with some uh, salt first for 15 minutes to get off the moisture, rinse with the cold water, and then I pickle and cure with some uh, quarter cup of white sugar, quarter cup of white vinegar, and a pinch of salt, and for a few hours. So now, it's gonna taste sweet and sour, and crunchy, beautiful. Our own chicken liver pate, uh, cooked with some herb that I can show you later, French baguette, Green onion, cilantro of course, jalapeno, and there's a little James uh, lettuce, and I got some other ingredient I'll show you later. I preheat my oven to 450, which is pretty hot, and I do uh, my uh, denominator. I insert it to one of the pork loin, and uh, as long as the temperature reach up to like a 142, something like that, and I'm gonna take it out. Or you can do this uh, on the outdoor grill, that'll be nice too. The ham, I uh, wrap it pretty tight. You can uh, just simply put it in the boiling water and uh, let them cook. Make sure they cook through or you can steam. I would like to show you, if you're in US, this Purdue is a very good uh, company to sell like a liver, chicken liver. They clean up everything for you. It's very good, it's ready to go. So we got hot vegetable cooking oil with some hot chili. Ginger and garlic mix. High heat. And then I'm gonna add in cilantro and the green onion, chop. The hard part of the green onion. We want the flavor. Stir for a couple minutes and we're gonna add in the liver. While the pan is really hot, we're gonna add some sherry cooking wine, oyster sauce, soy sauce, white pepper, five spice powder, just a little bit, sesame oil. Give them a quick stir. Make sure we don't want to overcook the liver, okay? You see all the sauces? And we just want to like semi-cook the liver and then we're gonna give them a quick chop into like pate. Or you can use the blender, coarsely chop. I think that's done. It won't take long to cook. Turn it off. Look at this flavor, huh? Now we're gonna make into a little paste. And in more cilantro, we're gonna coarsely chop. Right here, we're just gonna put it in the bowl. Later we're gonna, uh, the bread. Now I'm gonna uh, chill it in the refrigerator. Now the pork is done. Look at that, how beautiful. We're gonna let them cool off. The pork is done too, so I chill in a bowl of ice water for maybe uh, 15 to 20 minutes. We are gonna cut against the grain of this beautiful pork. Look at that, oh, nice. This one, a lot of flavor. You can make your own marinated pork.
anything that you like. Tasao, you can steam, you can braise it, uh, any way you like. You can grill. So you unwrap the pork ham and you just give them a quick high heat sear for the outside the exterior. It will give them more flavor and also render down uh, the fat from outside. It always tastes crispy and very good texture. I have to turn on the fan. <laughs> we are making Chinese crispy pork. Crispy bacon. You don't need the hot oil to cook this. It's just hot pans and hot heat. Look at that. That is beautiful. Love it. I got too excited. I burned my cutting board. <laughs> it's okay. Alright, so we're gonna cut into like little... See how beautiful that is? Oh yeah. You can put it back. It's okay. Like this. Put it aside. Ooh, yummy. Smells so good. Crispy bacon. Now we are ready. Let's do this. I'm gonna cut the bread in half. One side I'm gonna apply the Japanese mayo or any kind of mayo will be good. And we're gonna smooth out. Make sure nice and even, you know. And then this side we're gonna uh, do the pate. Just apply it nice and evenly. Get them. I'm gonna add some sriracha on this side. Maybe a few, right? And then this Maggie seasoning is a Southeast Asian staple, uh, like a uh, dipping sauce for salad or for meat or just even for rice. Just give them some flavor, put on the top of the pate. And then I will add the jalapeno. This is with the seed. I <laughs> gotta be careful, spicy. Love spicy, right? It's a famous Vietnamese baguette sandwich. You gotta have it. You gotta have spiciness to it. I'm gonna put this beautiful flavorful meat on the top. And then we're gonna add some cilantro. Cilantro I add with a little stem, it's okay. I kind of like it this way. This unique sandwiches is all about cilantro. You gotta have cilantro on this. And then we're gonna add in the slaw, which is the pickle. Balance out. It's all about the crunch from the bread, the creamy, fresh, flavorful, meaty, oh my goodness, complex of flavor, you know? It's like the top of the top. Oh God, I'm so hungry right now. I get ready this morning like 7.30 and marinate the meat. Now it's about uh, 8 o'clock, the dinner time. So a little bit late, but it's okay, no big deal. Now we're gonna add in the bacon. And then finally we're gonna add the lettuce, the jams lettuce. I can make two long baguette like this. Now we are ready to put it together. Look at this.
The best way to cut this long sandwich is uh, wrap it with the plastic wrap first and then cut it into like section. Here we go. Please subscribe and comment. I hope you like the video. I'm Chef Tom. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.